Welcome to the Maryville Forum offices today where we're joined by Jackson Braham, who you might be able to tell by his shirt, but he made a, a pretty big decision today. Jackson, just what what did you decide today? Well, today I decided that I will be committing to North Dakota State to play football in the next few years. Uh, what made you what made you decide like the bison program was was the right program for you? Well, after going to the camps and being on the campus a few times, I really liked it up there. And me and my parents went around Fargo and we looked at it, and we really decided that it kind of felt like home. And you've got a you're be around a familiar face up there. What's it mean? I know in the past you've talked about how much Jalen Sandell kind of helped you with the spoof hound program. Now you're going to get to be around him for three more years. So. Uh, how did Jalen kind of, his presence there and being able to tell you about stuff, did that kind of help in that decision making process? Yeah, it's nice because my sophomore year, Jalen really took me under his wing and it's just nice knowing that I won't be completely alone when I go up there, like I'll have somebody that I know. And uh, and just as far as the, the campus, I know you guys have gone up there for team camps and stuff like that. You were up there just a week ago, right? Yep. For team we camp. Were. So uh, what do you like about the campus and, and everything up there? Well, I mean, I really like the stadium. It's nice, it's indoors, it seats a lot of people. That was really cool. And I really like their weight room. I thought that was cool. They had nice facilities there. Focus on the things that matter right there yeah, with the right. getting stronger as a lineman. So um, what would they kind of tell you about your game and what, what did they, the coaches up there kind of like about what you bring to the table? Uh, I mean, they just liked that I play through the whistle and that I give good effort every play, and that's kind of all they said. Like, I'm getting recruited for tight end, so. Oh, okay. But they just liked how I can block, and they think that's really cool. They said I can play tight end or fullback and just go in between. And Gotcha. And uh, as far as that, have you played? Those I know, obviously you've been a lineman for for the spoof hounds, but have you played those positions before at all? And what what kind of adjustment do you think it will take once you get up there to get used to tight end or H back or whatever you end up? Well, I mean, in third grade I played fullback, so that that's the only other experience I have other than that I've been on the line. But their tight end coach is great, and they worked with me this weekend and just this past weekend I've came a long way with like routes and catching and stuff. So. I mean, you scored a touchdown last year, so it won't be that big of adjustment. Um, and uh, as far as Maryville, obviously, they've Coach Webb and the in the Spoof Hounds have have sent players to uh, the next level before. We talked about Jalen, but there's been others too. Just how much how much did the program here kind of help prepare you for uh, for getting the opportunity to to have an offer like you got here? Well, I mean. Coach Webb and all our coaches always focus on details, like really hammering on the details, and that is something that the NDSU coaches were really all about. Before you get to NDSU, you're going to have uh, have one more season here as a spoof hound. What, uh, talk, take me through kind of how the summers went for not only you but the whole team and uh, what you're excited about. Well, I mean, we've been in the weight room all summer so far. We had a good day at the Northwest team camp. We went there for a day and we did really good at the North Dakota State camp, I thought. And uh, our, our defense is looking really good, even though uh, our middle linebacker just got hurt. But we got a sophomore coming up, Drew Spire, and he'll be good for us this year too. So, what? How much pride do you guys take? I know last year you had to replace Jacob Surge, Bubba, uh, Jalen on the line, but now you've got a, a core coming back and a lot of guys who got experience last year. How much do you, Talon, Stukesbury, everybody kind of kind of take pride in uh, kind of leading the offense after you lost a couple skill players last year? I mean, it's cool because we all started last year, me and Talon on the line. We got first team all state, Stukes, he got some stuff too. So it's nice knowing that we're not going to have to replace all those people and that we have a lot of experience coming back. What's the rest of your, your summer look like? Are you going to go up to up to North Dakota anymore? Or when when's the next time you, you plan on, on talking to those guys? And what's the, what's the rest of the summer look like as you get ready for your senior year here? Well, July I might take another visit to Fargo, just get a more detailed look around the campus and stuff. But other than that, 
I'll take my official visit there sometime after we get done with our season. They'll most likely still be playing. So, Do you know what you want to uh, major in, in in North Dakota State yet, or is that still kind of undecided? Yeah, that's undecided right now. I'm not really sure at all. Gotcha. Well, you got some time to figure that out. Congrats on uh, Congrats on making your decision. Thank you.